Hey guys, me like big boom here and welcome to Unturned 3.20. This is an update that I can confidently say is the biggest that we have ever received in all of Unturned in general. Absolutely insane bringing unturned out of early access it is now officially considered a finished game though we will be receiving continual updates as we always have been for the coming weeks and alongside this transition out of early access we've received the long-awaited germany map and i'm sure as you've seen from the cinematic it is absolutely insane. There is so much stuff to cover in this update. I cannot cover it in a single video. We have new vehicles and guns and a new map and just a map in itself is nearly impossible to be covered in a single video. This is designed to be the overall update video showing you guys a few locations here and there on the Germany map, at least the major ones and the points of interest. Throughout the next few days, I'm gonna go more in depth on specific locations and additions from this update and this map but as of now I am super excited to check out the Germany map. I personally have not checked it out at all yet. I just downloaded it. The update came out 30 minutes ago. So far, I've only walked to Berlin, the major location of Germany. This is going to be what I feel like is very similar to Seattle in that it will be a very, very big hotspot for players on PvP servers. It is right smack dab in the middle, or at least pretty dang close to it and it is huge. This is the biggest city that we have ever received in Unturned, and rightfully so. I think we've definitely needed a huge city in our Unturned maps, and this is the perfect size. I mean, any bigger than this, and it'd probably be killing all of our computers, but just look at this. It has a huge freeway running through the center of the city, just like it does in Seattle, except this time it's got that that exit right there, and we've seen that in the, tr in the uh, Germany trailer. It's got the tipped over truck right there, Crazy, crazy stuff. Now I know from the trailer that there's coalition presence here, so I'm curious as to how that's being handled. Oh wait, no, so this might be, this might be what we saw in the trailer. Yeah, the, oh, so this is the entrance into the, all right. So yeah, check this out. So this is what we saw in the trailer here. So I'm thinking maybe this town once was taken over by the coalition and then, Clearly something happened, zombies or World War Z, something happened. Yeah, so now it's all taken over by zombies. Now one of the craziest things about this map that I'm still coming to terms with is how many mountains there are all over the place. If I go over here, when you look at this map, it looks relatively basic, but this map is from a top-down view, so it obviously can't really show you the sizes of these mountains that you can see around here. Now just look at this. I mean, when you when I actually go over the top of this hill, look at that. That's a mountain right there. That's not a cloud. I mean, that those two things are clouds, but that white spot over there, hold on. All right, as I crest the top of this hill, that is Berlin over there. And look at this. Unbelievable. And there's so many places all over the place between towns for you to build bases and with all this vertical, like, hills and, and cliffs and mountains and all that, there are so many great places where you can hide a base. Like, right here in this valley would be essentially completely hidden from everywhere. Like, look. Oh, man, they got ferns, too. <gasps> but, yeah, look at this. You could totally build a base in here, and it would be super difficult for, you, for your base to be seen from a distance. And there are places like this all over the place. I st I'm still climbing up the, uh, the mountain here, and it gets snowy up there. I haven't gone up to the top yet, but I've, I've seen it from basically everywhere on the map. Somebody has to build a base at the top of that and see how long they last. Now what's this over here? Oh, that must be the uh, trailer parks or whatever, with the four uh, trailer homes, and then the balcony overlooking. Oh, here are the waterfalls! <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that. So this is just beneath the huge mountain. So the mountain is up there. Oh, it's got waterfall sounds too. Look at this. This is cool. Huh. Man, now hold on. Man, this is so cool. Huh. 
And then the top level here. Oh, there's another level. And there's the mountain there. And there's the flooded city there. Man, I'm piecing this all together. It's going to make it difficult to climb up the mountain. It's going to be tricky to figure out how to get to the top. Alright, over here. Don't slide. Ooh, alright. Man, it just completely blocks the sun. And just look at, like, this would be a good place to build a base, too. There's so much. Holy cow. Gosh, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get to the top of that. You must need, like, a helicopter to get up there. This is, like, completely surrounded by vertical boulders. Oh, that... That must be the dam over there. Rapod Dam. Oh, man, we gotta check that out, too. There's so much to check out. But I can't check out all of it. It'll be, like, a 30-minute long video. All right, we, okay, we gotta we gotta get a, uh, a little more... What's that over there? Okay, hold on. Oh, that must be railroad tracks. Oh, those, those are the bridges that we saw. All right, let's uh, let's tackle this a little more strategically. Let's check out the limestone quarry, the Fernway prison, and the dam. Then we'll save some of the other places, like the military base and the castle and the peak. Okay, a lot of stuff for other videos or perhaps for you to explore on your own time. Okay, 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 okay. Setting this aside, let's let's go check out the Rapid Dam first. Now, holy smokes. Man, and how do I get to the top? I probably should have thought about that. Oh, and here's the washing machine as we saw earlier. So yeah, the top of the dam, I mean, you'll have to go up to Mobby's farm, but Mobby's farm is like up there. And I wonder, I've been wondering what these are. Yeah, they are generators. That's what I thought. So yeah, all right, cool, cool. And then this is the uh, actual office. Very cool. So there isn't much actually down here. Now I'm curious as to what it's like up there. So cool. Oh, shoot. All right, so zombies going after me. Now, in this case, I can actually show you guys the new gun that was added alongside this map. The Swiss Gear coming back from Unturned 2.0. So cool. This was one of my favorites in Unturned 2, <coughs> and I think it was a general favorite among all the Unturned players. Very. Oh, God, it's so cool. And incredibly accurate and powerful. One shot to the head. It is semi-automatic. It accepts grip, tactical, barrel, and sight attachments. Everything you would need. And it takes Swiss Gear magazine, which I'm assuming can be filled up using military ammo boxes. Heading back onto the freeway here, this should cross over the top of the dam. I love the new road stripes. I think Russia should be updated to include these as well. I think this is similar to what the uh, Russia roads look like. But regardless, it's cool to see them change based on the map. Now, moving on, here is the dam. Ooh boy. Now, the top of this had a military outpost set up, so this this is actually, especially considering its location, is actually a pretty good place to find military loot. I mean, it looks like most of the military stuff is going to be there, there, and in Berlin. And maybe in the prison. So this is kind of, you know, far out in the corner here to where you could be able to find military loot here without being bothered too much. So this will definitely be worth checking out. Let's see if we can actually find some pretty decent military stuff. Military knife. <laughs> Did he drop anything? A magazine for an empire. <laughs> Not too much. I mean, raw explosives. But you certainly can find military loot here. Now, one of the cool things. You can swim around over here. And then you can pop out over here. Now, hold on. Now, there are, like, holes in the side of the dam right there, that thing. And I think there's the same on this side. Yeah. I wonder what happens if I try and swim in it. Ah, no, it's got a... Ah, lame. That would have been kind of cool. I could swim through there. But I guess that does make sense, because clearly there'd have to be some sort of blockage there to prevent all the water from flowing down to the bottom side. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Now, that is the Rapid Dam. Now, let's check out the Limestone Quarry. Wow, this is a lot bigger than I had originally expected it to be. Holy cow. Get out of my way. Straight through the gate. Two gates, actually. Because they got, remember, the uh, giant dump trucks here. 
And I doubt they'll spawn here, because... Oh my gosh, this is really far down. <laughs> that must be all the waste product. All the regular rocks. Ooh, yeah, don't fall down that. Check this out. All kinds of new objects here. So this is the pile of... Of uh, waste products. All the rocks that they don't need. They're actually mining for, I think, this sandstone here. Or limestone. Look at the headlamp. Look at that. Those are actually really useful. <laughs> But yeah, headlamps, generators, spotlights, pickaxes, jackhammers. Oh, is this a jackhammer over here? No, it's a nail gun. Pickaxe, see, that's very useful there. So this is going to be the go-to place like it is on Karyev on uh, Russia. Look at all these pickaxes. No jackhammer, though, though I'm sure, I'm sure you'd be able to find one here. Very cool. This will probably be a pretty big hotspot now that I think about it. Karyev is actually pretty pretty popular on PvP servers on Russia, so I'd, I'd assume that this is going to be pretty similar. Though it doesn't nearly have as many of these mineable rocks as I'd hoped. I mean, there's three here. Well, I guess there are a lot more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Whoa, okay, there are a lot more. Though they're going to be pretty tricky to access. Like, how are you going to get to that one? Or that one? How are you going to get to that one? What the? Now, there's a lot more than I'd originally expected. Maybe I wasn't paying attention earlier. Which wouldn't be surprising. Clearly there'd have to be a strategy to this. There must be the best route that you can take. Like, get that one, that one, that one, that one. Get the, all the ones in the ground. Alright, now that I think about it, the best route might be to go down that ramp. Get those two. Go down here. Get all the ones on the ground here. Then go up those. Get that. Go up the ladder. Get that and that. Go up the ladder there. Get that and that. I mean, at that, you've, you've got basically a full inventory of scrap metal. However... There are so many places where snipers can be sitting up here and watching you as you're doing all that. So that is, uh, it's going to be risky. You can choose to mine here or you can go off and find your own out in the wild. But yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. The sun is coming down as I approach the prison. I'm imagining that this is going to be, depending on what loot we can find here, is going to be pretty popular as well four huge watchtowers. Now I'm curious as to what the tops of these watchtowers look like. Maybe they'll have snipers spawn in here. But yeah, it looks uh, relatively basic. Just a phone where they can phone in if they see anyone. And those spotlights are not powerable. But yeah, I'm sure you'd be able to find guns up there. Now what is this? A waiting room clerk's office or something. This is where they actually go back. Now this is cell block A. Look at this. This is so cool. Now it doesn't look like they're powerable. Unfortunately. That'd be kind of cool to lock people in their cells. Like have a generator here, open the gate, put them in, shut the gate and just salvage the generator. <laughs> They'd just be stuck in there until somebody else comes along with the generator. Oh, we got a viper here. Civilian ammunition boxes. Cell block B is the same thing. Some gates have been smashed. Now, I'm looking for something like a warden's office. Oh, no. Here is where it is, for sure. Oh, yep. Up here is the roof. Okay, now hold on. Now that office that I saw in there, where the uh, actual guards sleep, that surely would have to have weapons spawn in it. I didn't see any this time, but we do have weapons lockers here. So they'd have to be higher tier loot. Or like higher tier police loot in there. So that's, this is definitely worth checking out. Though I don't think it's going to be as much of a hotspot as I had originally anticipated. Now lastly, before I wrap up this video, I'm curious as to what Hamburg looks like, and I'm also curious as to what the aerospace defense complex look like, though I don't want to spend too much time, so I think I'm going to check out Hamburg, strictly because it does seem like it's the most unique location. It's a flooded city, and I'm curious as to what kind of loot we can find in the deeper areas of Hamburg. So I'm thinking that the dam may have let out a little bit too much water over here, raising the water level of all this over here and kind of flooding Hamburg here a little bit. Now some of the towns aren't too bad. I mean some of the houses here. 
I mean, well, this is pretty bad. I mean, obviously, this, this home is completely toast. There's gonna be mold all over the place. But, at least it's not completely submerged. Like, some of the places over there. <laughs> so that one got it relatively easy, but wow, this is so cool. The whole town, underwater. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. No, no! Ah. Gosh. Yeah, he scared the crap out of me, he genuinely did. For some reason, I didn't expect zombies to spawn here because it was all flooded, but yeah, there are. I wonder if there are crawlers. Oh, no, there are zombies actually just walking underwater. Okay. Ooh. All right. All right. So not only do you have to worry about dr drowning, you have to worry about <laughs> zombies attacking you while you're drowning. I'm thinking that this would be a pretty great location to get regular loot that you would need on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, like, you could check the mechanic shop for, you know... Oh, hi there. You could check the mechanic shop for, like, steely wheelies and blowtorches, but since this is underwater, it's gonna be significantly more difficult for people to see you while you're looting this place. So, like, for example, you could loot this gun store, and because you'd be underwater, it'd be difficult for... Oh my gosh, we got the... the Luger. A wild spawning luger and an ace. I wonder, and another ace. Yeah, I wonder if the uh, spawns on this are turned up, which would be awesome. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there are very many like very deep locations. However, this would be a good place to loot um, and not be as easily seen. You have all the protection from these trees, and you can always swim underwater if someone sees you. Very cool. And I landed up on top of here. Sweet! Oh man, look at that! The mountain just right there. And even though it's a pretty considerable distance away, it's still just towering above these trees that are nearby. It's crazy how vertical the locations are on this map. Absolutely insane. I'm gonna have to wrap up this Germany exploration video. As I said earlier, I didn't want to explore too much and make the video too long. I'm going to save that for videos in the next few days. In regards to today, I'm going to be posting a video shortly showing all of the new vehicles that were added alongside this map and its updates. So be sure to subscribe in order to know when that is uploaded. But regardless, that is all I have for now for Unturn 3.20. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. And do all that gibberish because me like big boom. It's out.